And welcome into the race by race preview for Sha Tin on Sunday. It's a twilight meeting with the first race kicking off at four o'clock. Some group racing as well, and we've got it covered for you all in the studio right here. Joining us is a Paul Luddy and Tom Wood and Tom. There's something for everybody with day, night racing, <laughs> turf, all weather groups. You name it, it's yep, there. It's all there. Jackpots as well. And uh, Lucky Swainess, uh, the uh, horse that uh, has uh, really taken Hong Kong by storm over the last uh, sort of 12 to 18 months, is lining up in the Sprint Affair, the Group Three year contest. Of course, the Lion Rock Trophy, Beauty Joy, a past winner of this race. Both of those horses have to carry top weight. And Paul, get the zeros out. Tell us the jackpots. You need the calculator for some of these. The Triple Trio, 38 million. We're expecting it to get up with the jackpot. The fifth double trio, we're expecting that to get up to 8 million. And we're expecting 31 million in the six up win bonus. So there's money galore. It's just shake the money tree and it'll all fall out for you. Mega money madness at Sha Tin on Sunday. But we get underway with the first being a class four over the 1600 metres. And Darcy Joy gets a 10 pound claim this week for Ellis Wong. Happy day. He has won in this grade. That was off a rating of 53. Forever Folks has uh, run third and fourth at his last two starts after winning three back. Seven day turnaround for Brave and Bold. Brother Pearl first time at 1600 metres. Strongest boy has gone 1000. 1400 1600 in consecutive starts and numbers 11 and 12 brilliant pioneer and super buddy tom both have a tongue tie on I mean, the pace in this race uh, can uh, certainly come from Happy Hero, who down, is down towards the bottom, hasn't done a great deal in his seven starts. He's got a light weight, and he is actually eligible for Class 5, but this is a 60 to 35 rated race. Uh, Darcy Joy, he got uh, quite a long way back, but uh, closed off wider last uh, time out. You'd expect him to uh, sit uh, closer this time round. And Super Buddy with Happy Day, and a precedence uh, choice there, uh, Paul, should be somewhere about uh, just in front of midfield. Yeah, he, he likes to race. He has been racing handily uh, recently. Forever folks will need luck. From Barrier 12, I think he's going to have to go back. Northern Beast ran well on debut. Coming from the back, I think he'll do something similar with uh, Hugh Bowman. Award. We'll see Northern Beast shortly. Paul, we're going to start, though, with Forever Folks. And this is his last start. Third, Go Go 16 runs ninth, but uh, he did win course and distance in Class 5. Yeah, he's quite a consistent horse, Go Go 16. He's, he's been going pretty well this season. So, look, I'm going to put him in on a minor line. Uh, I think he's going well. Forever Folks, just the Barrier 12 put me off a little bit because he's going to get a bit further back than he would like. But the last three runs have all been good. Yeah, I'm going to include him here. He was uh, sort of wide midfield. I don't know how he ended up so wide from Barrier 2 last uh, time out. Uh, forever folks but it was a really good run considering he was still attacking at the line good to report for forever folks we move on tom and there'll be a lot of uh, wet track form right throughout the meeting brother pearl runs sixth strongest boy northern beast this was his uh, debut run yeah so it could be hard to line up uh, a few of these horses uh, through the day at sha tin uh, he's a son of uh, morrison just a three-year-old but ran third beaten two and three quarters behind storm legend who does go around later on in the afternoon and so uh, he was in the middle part of the track which probably wasn't the the greatest place to be paul but he was still staying on at the end yeah i really like the way he finished off northern beast look I, the thing with northern beast is I think the track was OK for him, but I think he'd be better on top of the ground. So with that run under his belt, I'm going to include him. Brave and bold, Paul. He got in as a nominated standby starter last weekend, so he's on the quick backup. Yeah, look, he, he made some good ground here as well, finishing seventh. He's a currently a 12 to 1 chance. Brave and bold didn't quite make it, make it in. I just want to watch him one more time. Yeah, I put him in up to 1,600 metres. I thought would uh, suit him here. He's on a, a quick turnaround. He was still finding the line at the end of his race. Interestingly enough, it's uh, Vincent Ho's first ride all season for uh, John Size, and he's come up with uh, uh, Barry number six. So I think that's uh, a plus, and uh, he still was making ground at the end. So uh, I'll include him on a minor line. All right, Tom, a little bit keen, uh, brave and bold for multiples. And what about Happy Day, Tom? He's uh, up in the weights with 132 pounds. Zach Purton for Chris So. He's only won one race here in Hong Kong off uh, a rating of 53. Still a bit higher than that the moment off 57. Not sure that the track conditions were totally to his liking last time out, but his prior runs, Paul, had sort of suggested that a, a win possibly wasn't too far away. Yeah, so this was a second start um, back in into Class 4. I mean, he obviously has won there in the past, but coming back into the Class 4, I think, was good for him, and he just sort of floundered a little bit in the ground here. So coming on to a firmer track, I think, will really suit him. Zach Purton aboard from a low draw. And the weather is supposed to be fine for the meeting on Sunday. Selections for race number one, Paul. Going to go with him. Happy day. I just uh, back in this grade, low draw. I think he's going to get a lot better opportunity than we saw there. Darcy Joy with a ten pound claim. He's very well rated now. As one was off fifty eight. He's he's rated sixty with the claim. Northern Beast uh, went well on debut and go go sixteen there on a minor line. Two one four six. 
Yeah, I sided with it too as well. I didn't think it was an overly strong race to uh, open the card in a pretty even lineup. So happy day uh, back on top of the ground in Class 4. Uh, Northern Beast, like what he did uh, in his debut run, hopefully he can improve uh, on top of the ground. Forever Folks was a big run last start and a brave and bold on the quick uh, turnaround at 2, 4, 3 and 5. There it is. All of the information for race number one, Shatin Sunday.